This is question 11 from a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're told that the table gives some information about the speeds in kilometres per hour of 100 cars. And we've got that information there. Then we're told to draw a histogram for the information in the table. So the first thing that we need to recognise here is the fact that we've been asked to draw a histogram. Now when we've been asked to draw a histogram, what we then need to remember is that with our histograms, what we say is that our frequency, our frequency is proportional to the area of the bars that we're going to draw. Okay, so the larger the area is, the greater the frequency will be. Okay, and so what this leads to is a fairly simple formula. And the formula is that the frequency will be equal to the class width. So the class width, essentially the base of the rectangle that we're about to draw, multiplied by the height of the rectangle that we're going to draw. And for our histograms, we call this height frequency density. And I'm just going to abbreviate that to FD, okay, frequency density. Now, if we look at our table, we've got some information. We've got the frequency already, and we've also got the class width. The class width is simply um, this information that's contained here. So how far apart are those two numbers? So the class width here would be 5. The class width here is also 5, 65 to 70. The class width there would be 10. Okay, And so what we're missing is the frequency density. And that's what we're going to need to work out. Now, at the moment, I'm saying that frequency is equal to the class width times by the frequency density. So I'm just going to have to rearrange this formula to work out what the frequency density will be. So what I can say is that the frequency divided by the class width will give the frequency density. So that's just a rearrangement of that formula. So on this first one, I'm going to take my frequency and I'm going to divide that by class width. So the class width here is 5, frequency 15. So I'm going to do 15 divided by 5 for a frequency density of 3. On this next one, I've got a frequency of 25, a class width of 5. So my frequency density would be 5. On this next one, I've got a frequency of 36, a class width of 10, so 36 divided by 10 for a frequency density of 3.6. And then on this last one, a frequency of 24 divided by 20 for 1.2. Now, all that I now need to do is start labeling this up. Um, so I've got my frequency density is the equivalent of my height. And then I'm just going to need to scale this as well. So the height that I need to go up to is a height of 5. So scaling this, I'm going to just say that each, uh, each of those 10 little squares will count as 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then I'm just going to draw my rectangles. This first one I've got a class width of 5 so I need to go 5 across and then I'm going to need to go up to a height of 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 across and then whoops, I'm going to have to go up to a height of 3. So my first bar would look like that. Next bar, um, you can see there I'm having to go up to 5, so all the way up to the top. And again, it's a class width of 3, so it's going to be along to 70. Uh, sorry, a class width of 5, so from 65 up to 70. Next one goes from 70 to 80, and that needs to go to a height of... 3.6, you need to be a bit more careful about this one. So 3.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 
and then draw it across. Um, and then the last one, uh, it's got a class width of 20, so 80 to 100, and that goes up to a height of 1.2. So again, just need to be a bit careful. That's one there, 1.1, 1.2, 1 .1, I think. Okay, so my histogram should look like that. Um, and again, just a quick check that you can do. The area of these bars should be equal to the frequency. So here I've got a class width times the frequency density. So from 60 to 65, 5 multiplied by 3 gives 15. And so that is indeed what the frequency is going to be. Part B, we're asked to work out an estimate for the number of cars with a speed of more than 85 kilometers per hour. Kind of a couple of ways that you could do this. Um, the simplest way, I think, is to look at 85 kilometers an hour. And what we can see is that um, we want more than 85. So we're talking about the 15 kilometers from 85 up to 100. OK, and what we could say there is that that is... 15 kilometers out of the 20 kilometers which are captured in that group. So we would expect that, and we can say that that is three quarters. What we would expect then is that it's three quarters of the 24 um, cars which are caught in that group between 80 and 100, because we're talking about three quarters of the bar. So Three quarters of 24 is going to give me 18. So my answer to part B will just be 18. Uh, another way that you could have done it just uh, quickly is you could have just said, OK, well, that's going to be 15 multiplied by 1.2. 15 multiplied by 1.2 would give 18 as well. 